people use a tool called a roto zip to cut these out. And I think it's an awesome tool, especially if you have a lot of drywall to do. I'm just gonna tuck those in and you wanna make sure you have your piece cut to the walls and make sure it fits in. That's the first step. Uh, so make sure that that fits in place of where you want it to go first, and then you can take some measurements for the box. So in the circumstance that you have your rough electrical run, you have the boxes on the wall, and you're hanging to the studs, you have your piece cut, you know it's gonna fit in place, now you can measure for that box. Measure to one of the walls, doesn't matter which one, this one or that one. So we'll go side to side first, and dead center of this is 14 inches, and then measure from either the other piece of drywall or to the floor like this to about center. So I'm gonna measure off of this piece of fictional drywall. That's eight inches. So 14 by eight inches. And I'm gonna take my piece and I'm gonna measure from here 14 inches and I'll make a mark right here. And then I'll measure down eight inches right here. And right there should be about center of my box. I'm gonna push this into place as much as I can. This is gonna be a little more difficult because it's a smaller piece of drywall. And that's where the other technique is probably gonna come in a little uh, handier but you can push your piece into place and wherever you can, you wanna get some screws started. Right here, down here. So you don't wanna tighten them down too far because you will end up breaking the, the sheetrock or the drywall around where you put the screws in. So as long as you nest it up tight against the box, you're good for the next step. Now this is a tool that's called a roto zip and it has a rotating blade on it. It just spins and the blade is designed so that it won't cut through plastic or metal or anything uh, besides drywall, as long as you don't hold the, the blade there too long um, and you're very careful, you don't try and force it. Um, but what happens is you take this tool, turn it on, and it'll plunge cut into the drywall and then you can find the edges of the box and then just kind of maneuver this around the box and it'll make a perfect cut around the box. Let me show you how it works. Probably a good idea to wear a mask because this can get a little dusty. I should also mention not to go too deep with this because you don't want to hit the wires that are in that box. Here we go. the box. Now you can push the drywall and see that it's a perfect cut around that. Of course, there's gonna be uh, gaps in some of the locations, but if you're careful, you put light pressure against the box while you're cutting, you should have a perfect cut.